welcome to Crafty Shenanigans. I'm Shannon Smith and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. I love this time of year. I'm loving all of the crafty things that I'm seeing. I love that the holidays seem to bring the craftiness out of people who might not find the time during the rest of the year, but it just, you see people decorate who may not, you know, normally that's not their jam. I just love seeing all these little um, windows into people's into people's personalities and into their tastes and into the things that they enjoy. And so I am loving the opportunity to make all kinds of holiday projects. And so I'm just going to keep going with the cards and the tags and who knows what will come out. But um, I have another holiday card for you today. And I'm mostly focusing on the background for this. I'm, I'm, I've tried out a new project, product, I should say, that was really fun to play with. And I think you'll enjoy it too. And there's lots more I'm sure that you can do with it. But I will show you just some of the basics of what I used. And then also um, next week I will be showing um, a, a video with coloring in more detail. This week I'm going to use coloring, but I'm not really going to go into too much uh, instruction on it. But next week I promise that I'll give you a little bit more. So with that, let's just go ahead and go for it. Okay, so to start out, we're just going to take our panel. And I'm going to bring out my beautiful dish pan that I like to use when I'm using something messy. As it catches all of the splatter for me. So to start out, we're going to take our panel. And we're going to use this Distress Resist Spray. It's by Tim Holtz and Ranger Ink. And we'll just test the sprayer out. It can be a little fussy. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and spray a little of that. And this does add a texture. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to heat that up with our heat tool. All right, yeah, it doesn't take long for that to dry. So we can go on to our next step. Just gonna slide a little bit of scratch paper underneath. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to use um, our dauber and our dauber pads. And we are going to use, this is FSJ liquid color, and we're going to use a variety of colors. We're going to use Cool Pool, Lovely Blue, and Turbo Teal. But let's start out with our Cool Pool and Lovely Blue. We're going to make a little mix of those. And I'm just taking a clear block to use as my palette. I don't know that you really need this much, but we have plenty here. And then I just kind of like to roll the edges a little bit so that when I go make contact on the paper, it doesn't leave harsh lines. We're just going to add that to our paper in circular motions. And you can see how our resist shows up. And in this case, we I kind of want it to look like snow. Now you do need to use a water-based ink when using the resist. Otherwise, it's going to color over the top of your resist. It'll stain it. But if you use the water resistant, or I mean the water based, then it will, it will work well. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this again so that we can um, kind of, so now I'm going to go ahead and spray this again so that we can capture some of this color.
Put that to dry for us. Okay, so now we're gonna add, I'm just gonna do a layer of the lovely blue. We're just going to do the same thing. You can see it's giving it a whole nother dimension. I love all the depth and all the fun textures that this gives it. So this is fun by itself. I think even the other layer was fun by itself, but I thought, well, we may as well go for it since we're trying out something new. We may as well play all together. So I am going to do one more layer of the Distress, and then we'll ink it one more time. So I'll go ahead and do that. using really similar colors, staying kind of within one color family. I haven't played too much beyond that yet, so I can only imagine all the different fun combinations you can get using different colors of cardstock, different colors of inks. Alright, I think it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Turbo Teal now. So now you've got all of these different fun variations on the color. Such a fun and just simple way to get a really interesting, cool background. Okay, so I think we should go on to the next step. Okay, so for this card, I used this really cute little girl from My Favorite Things. This set is called Holiday Cheer, and we're just gonna go ahead and we will color her, and I will likely be speeding this up so that you don't have to sit and watch me color for too long. I will say also that I did add this. This is actually to my die cut machine, but I wanted something that was nice and firm, not on right on my mat. So I just decided to stick this underneath it while I color.
Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the finished project. I went ahead and I cut that out. But you can see I just added a little bit of snow and a little bit of fun here. This little bow is so cute. This is from Pink and Main. I was going to find that die for you. Super cute. Just teeny tiny little bow that that makes. And then this one right here is a Spellbinders. Oldie but a goodie. And then I've got these cute little sprigs and such from this uh, Sizzix die, which I have used before. Love this set. It's really, really versatile. And then you can see I just added some little fun elements here and there. And these little sequins are Fun Stamper's Journey. And I will list all of these things in the description of the video. Well, I hope that maybe you learned something new. The resist spray was certainly new for me and I really enjoyed playing with it. And I keep thinking of all the new things I could do with it. I'm thinking, ooh, yeah, think of that with the stencil. Think of that with other things. And just keep playing. That's the best thing to do is just keep playing and experimenting and finding those fun things that you can do. And I hope that you'll join me next week when I do, um, I am going to do a coloring tutorial. I'm going, I love the colored pencils and that's my favorite medium really to work with. So I am looking forward to, to doing a video on that. I have been asked several times to do that and I think it's time. So I will be doing that next week. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll do so. And I hope that you'll go ahead and hit the little bell next to it. And thank you so much for all your shares and your likes. And I really do appreciate your support. So until next time, I hope that you'll just keep on crafting. And I do hope that you'll join me again soon.